Hey there, it's the Turtle Girl. Today we are talking about general turtle care. So basically straight up information in this video, everything you need to know from the tank size to filtration to basking and this is gonna be like brief and to the point and just some of the general stuff that you will need to know but I have gone in depth on most of these topics in my turtle 101 playlist which you can check out by going somewhere around here all right so first things first before you start considering the tank you need before you start considering what type of turtle you want before any of that you need to determine that a turtle is the right pet for you because they are not the right pet for actually most people because you must consider they can live 30 plus years. Certain turtles get enormous and a lot of them do need a sustain of sub -villa. A lot of turtles need a substantial amount of room in your home. They also require a good amount of money in order to properly set them up and a good amount of maintenance in order to give them the quality of life that they really deserve. So before you get into any of the logistics and information stuff about turtles, first of all, you have to think is a turtle the right pet for me? Do I intend to care for this animal for the entirety of its very long lifespan? So if a turtle is the right type of pet for you, then we will have to start considering some things. So first of all, tank size. The tank is where your turtle lives, it is where he swims around, and it's his home. And so usually this is a glass tank for most people, a glass fish tank aquarium. And the general guideline for size here is that because turtles are, first of all, super duper messy, they make a lot of poop and stuff, and then they also love to swim, is that they need a bigger tank. So usually what's recommended is 10 gallons per inch of shell on the turtle. So if you have a 4 inch turtle, you will want a 40 gallon tank. If you have a 7 inch turtle, you will want a 75 gallon tank, and so on and so forth. Now when you're buying a tank, do consider the adult size of your turtle, because though the turtle you get now may only be 4 inches, that turtle can grow to be a foot long turtle, and in that case you need a 120 gallon tank. So just be... So just be... So just be considering the size of your turtle when he'll be an adult so that you're not constantly upgrading the tank because if you got a 4 inch turtle and then he grows, the next year you get a 50 gallon tank, then you get a 75 gallon tank and a 120 gallon tank. That can really be expensive, but if you thought about it beforehand you said, okay I have a 4 inch turtle, he's going to probably grow pretty big, so I'll get a 75 gallon tank and then a few years down the road I'll upgrade him to a 120 gallon tank or a small kiddie pool. And so just consider the adult size of your turtle when picking your tank size. The next thing is filtration. So like I said, turtles are extremely messy. They are messy when they're eating, they're messy when they go to the bathroom, and they go to the bathroom in their water that they're living in. So it's very important to have good filtration in order to keep their water clean so that they're not getting sick. So first of all, the size of your filter ought to be two to three times the size of your tank. So if you had a 40 gallon tank, we'll continue with that example of a four inch turtle in a 40 gallon tank, then you would want either one filter at least rated for 80 gallons or maybe two rated for 40 gallons. Now there are many different ways to provide filtration, but my two favorite ways to provide filtration for turtles are hang on back filters or power filters and also canister filters. This is because um, they leave room inside the tank for decorations and for just space for the turtle to swim around and then also because they tend to be pretty powerful and also because they have a lot of space inside them for media and media is just the stuff that you put inside the filter that cleans the water. And while we're talking about filtration let's just touch a little bit on maintenance. So for turtles you do have to actually change their water and clean out their filter. So when you're changing water usually you will have to do 30 to 50 percent maybe every one or two weeks. It depends on your setup so you will have to get a test kit and see how your water parameters are doing and change water as it is necessary and just fall into a routine. I've done a video on this already so if you do want to learn more about maintenance you can definitely check that out. And also you do need to clean your filter but key tip is you never throw away the media inside your filter because this actually houses bacteria that processes waste. So when you're doing your water change, you'll just rinse out your filter media inside 
that tank water so that you don't kill that bacteria. Now let's move on to heating. So you do have to heat your turtle tank, um, but it's usually not a very difficult thing. Um, for the most part, you will just use your aquarium heater, your standard aquarium heater, and then you can put a heater guard on it to make sure that your turtle doesn't accidentally break it because that has been known to happen. You just get this, the heater rated for the size of your tank. So if you have a 75 gallon tank, get a heater that is made for a 75 gallon tank. And then you will have to set the heater at certain temperatures and it, this varies um, with the age of the turtle. So baby turtles like their water to be very warm because reptiles are cold blooded. And so the temperature around them determines their metabolism, how active they're gonna be. So baby turtles need it pretty warm in order for them to be able to grow and stay healthy. So baby turtles like their temperatures to be around 78 to 80-ish degrees. Um, turtles are very tolerant, but that is where most of them will be happy, baby turtles. For juveniles, they can go lower and be about 75 degrees to 80 degrees. And adults can tolerate a wide range of temperatures, ranging as low as 65 degrees up to 80 degrees. So if you have an adult turtle, you may not even need a heater or just use a heater and set it to room temperature, so 70 or 72 degrees and it'll just kick on when the water drops too low and also you will need heating in your basking area because in basking you need to mimic the sun so that your turtle shell can be healthy so you have your heating bulb up in your basking area now the wattage will depend on the type of bulb that you're using so usually what you have to do is just get the type of heat bulb you want put that in the light fixture and then you can um, move your light fixture up and down depending on how warm you need the basking area to be and those temperatures for the basking area usually you want those to be about 10 degrees warmer than the water going no lower than 80 degrees in the basking area and no higher than 95 ish degrees and these basking temperatures um, are the same for all ages of turtle but usually your basking area will be big enough that your turtle can move around and pick the temperature he wants to be at also in the basking area you will need some special lighting so this is UVB bulbs. UVB is very important for the turtle because it helps them synthesize vitamin D3, which in turn helps them to process calcium. So you need a bulb that specifically says it produces UVB wavelength light. And as for lighting inside the actual aquarium, you can use whatever you like as long as it illuminates the tank and the turtles do need the lights to be on during the day and off at night. So during the night, you will turn off all the lights. You will turn off the basking light, you will turn off the aquarium light, you will leave the heater on. Um, and this is just so that your turtle can have his cycle in his brain. He knows when it's daytime, he knows when it's nighttime. And as for different types of basking areas, you just really need to have a place for your turtle to get up out of the water so that his shell can get dry because without his shell being able to get dry, he can start getting shell infection, shell rot. Now there are several ways of providing this. They have floating basking docks, they have above tank basking areas like the one I have here. You can make your own or you can buy one at a store. There's many different options, but personally I just prefer above tank basking areas because again, leave space in the tank for the turtle to swim. And also this is pretty cheap to make if you make one yourself. It only costs you about $8 in supplies. So I think I think that's it for everything in the tank. Now let's talk a little bit more about the turtle themselves. So I have already actually covered um, beginner turtle species, that type of thing. I've already talked about maintenance a little bit in this video. Um, one thing unique about turtles though that I did want to mention is that they do shed in order to grow their shell and to keep their shell healthy. So if you see your turtle's shell looking kind of flaky, no need for concern as long as it is not soft or smelly because that usually is an indicator of shell rot. But if it just looks kind of flaky or a little dull, that probably means your turtle is shedding. And so there are a couple things you can do to help this along which I've discussed as well as in other videos. Now finally, there is the aspect of feeding your turtle. Um, now that is a whole nother topic on its own because it is so complex and important. So I have already done a whole general feeding video which if you haven't seen that you can look um, in the description. All the links to all the videos I've mentioned will be in the description. I highly recommend if you want to go a little bit more in depth and learn more about turtle stuff. Um, check out my turtle 101 playlist and also my whole channel is just dedicated to care of turtles. So if you haven't already feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, look at my other videos I've done, and if I haven't done one of a video answering your question, then feel free to drop that in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Let me know if I missed anything, because that is entirely possible, and when I'm making these videos, 
often something does slip my mind that I forget to talk about. So leave those in the comments below so that if I missed anything, you guys can fill in for me and people can go down there and check in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Mm -hmm.